Last mission, last mission. Final boss mode. What it do, what it do. Yeah, they, they need some these fighters need to make some money. So you know that's why that's why we that's where we got that's where we got the card yesterday. Speaking um, of money, who fumbled the bag? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, speaking of that, that's a good segue, you know. It's not a, not a fumble, not a fumble. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm not a football guy. Think of the, okay, forgot to throw the jab in the last round of the fight. <laughs> that sound better? No, nigga. Not right <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. Uh... You was uh, overweight at the weigh-in. You lost your title on the scales. That's that's close. That's close. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> oh, well, oh, wait a minute. Just before we, before we go on that subject, apparently we just got uh, you know some news from the WBA. Apparently, the board of governors is actually going to vote on a potential reinstatement of Manny Pacquiao. As welterweight champion ahead of his showdown with Errol Spence. Oh, you know they're gonna they're gonna vote yes. shocked. I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. Color me shocked. Oh my god, I have no idea what to think of this. Once they knew that fight was gonna be for the ring belt. Yeah, we knew they're gonna have to do it. Like, you had to do it that way. Yeah, they 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 they're like, what the fuck is a Ugas? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. I was saying that before, but now I'm really saying it. Yeah, like, and let's put it this way: like most of us did not put uh, most of us did not put respect on Ugas's title run only because a he didn't he beat someone that wasn't really a top welterweight contender for that quote unquote belt that he got upgraded to, and uh, and uh, of course I said Ugas needed to face a heavy hitter of some sort, like he had to face somebody. So for me to put respect, because like I said, I, ain't no guy that that near that damn near lost to Thomas Delorme. I can't put him as no threat over anybody, including. You call people who do, who 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 kind of shit on Crawford's competition, like uh uh-uh, uh no. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, no. But that's but he, the WBA is also setting themselves up for. You guys will be Crawford's best opponent right now. Yo, it, it, at it, welterweight. It, it, <laughs> and Drew, it, Drew will be fucked up. I mean, if the WBA strips him, but because Ugas didn't make a title defense, Ugas didn't have, he even have a chance to. Like honestly, you they have grounds to sue the WBA if if the W if Ugas does that. Either that or Alice pay him like an extra half a million for him to. Man, honestly, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I mean, they're breaking their own rules, though. I, I, I do. I, I give a fuck. Why I are you just don't fuck? give a fuck. If he's not fighting somebody worth a damn, I just don't give a fuck. Okay, Slim Shady. Shady. They, they haven't even announced a fight for him. Like, I mean, it's just yeah, like, exactly. Like, like, I think, I think yeah. Yeah, all rumors are just like pointing to him fighting on the undercard. Of this, of of, of uh, so he could be cheating. He could be in the same building as a fucking real champion. <laughs> <laughs> I know because there's supposed to be Keith Thurman versus him, you know, and all that shit. But yeah, no, and and, and I mean, Keith, 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 the only reason why Keith's even mentioning his name because he has that belt. So I'm pretty sure Keith's not. Keith's not yeah, gonna, no, he's, he's not gonna he's not gonna fight um, Ugas once Ugas gets yeah, yeah. Like, like none of the guys like nobody like, gonna. nobody's gonna want to fight him because then that just then they'll have the regular belt and then that just basically just deadlocks them. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah so yeah. next, yeah, <laughs> it, it's fucked up though. But you know, that, I mean, hey, if Ugas wants to sue him, go ahead. But yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, yeah live. Live. it's boxing. Yeah, just box. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but definitely to switch off the boxing for a little bit, you know. There, you know, there's definitely another controversy going on in the world of sports. This time with the Olympics. Now, everyone knows this is not an Olympic year, you know. The pandemic fucked up 2020 in all types of ways and, you know, couldn't yeah, so they couldn't do their usual competing and whatnot. But um over the last month or so there was one there was one there was there was one effort that was kind of dominating a whole lot of attention. You know, in the media, social media, and whatnot. One Shakari Richardson, you know, you know, with her with her orange hair and her colorful outfits, looking like FloJo in her prime, and the tats as well. You know, she's been she's been killing these broads like in the hundred meters and shit like that. And she was 
a favorite, you know, going against the, particularly the other favorites, the Jamaicans, because you know, Jamaican, the Jamaican, you know, Jamaican track team was just ridiculous in the Olympics. They did, they, they be speeding, you know, always, goddamn, yeah. always, you know. However, Shakari, Shakari Richardson, you know, she, she has all types of attention on her right now. Like, you know, she's getting props from like from Michelle Obama, everyone. Like, she's getting all these like ringing endorsements. Like she, and she's just twenty years old. You know, she's you know she, she was um, she turned pro after running for LSU. Like you know, basically everything is set up for her to really win, to really benefit and profit off the Olympics. However, she, did, however, she unfortunately, you know, she failed a drug test, and you know, I'm feeling myself. Okay, you know, if she failed a drug test and there was roids in her system, then I'm like, hey, you know. It's unfortunate she broke the rules. It's what it is. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, she she got she tested positive for marijuana, which opened up a whole big type of debate. Like, you know, the Zaza. Was that? I said that Zaza. <laughs> Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so pretty so pretty much there's a whole bunch of things going around. I know woke Twitter is on this. You know, all types of stuff like on it. Like, and most people are like, okay, yeah, weed is legal now. It doesn't matter. Weed is not a performance enhancer. Blah, blah. She should run anyways. Uh, or Michael Phelps, you know, he, didn't he get caught from Yeah, Maryland? what about what about Michael Phelps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that nigga? Did he get suspended? Did they the funny thing he did, shit? but he wasn't running. Like, he wasn't swimming during the time. Like, there wasn't a competition. No, that's bullshit then. That's bullshit then. This no, the thing though is... They should look at it as a new thing with Mike, The thing with Michael Phelps, though, is he did fail at drug test. He just got caught with having a picture of him holding a bong or some shit like that. Yeah. And he, and, yeah. and he gave him a six-month punishment for it. Even more, even like he, he got a stiffer punishment than Shakari got from this. So that's and it was like, about. it was like he did something that was like stupid. Like it wasn't even like it didn't hurt anybody. Yeah, like he didn't even he, like he tested. He didn't even test positive for that shit. But it was just um, he just did he just looked like stupid, you know. In the, in and got um, got the picture taken, you know, and bam, he got a six month ban. Shakari is just is just bad because you know reportedly you know her her biological mother passed away, and she in her own words chose to actually smoke marijuana, knowing damn well that Olympics is just around the corner, and they and they test for everything like Olymp- like weed is getting legalized everywhere and that's true, but the Olympic but the Olympic rules have not changed like if anything they they ban a whole lot of shit like. And so hold on, she was really on that gas, gas, because she got like no body fat. So exactly. not, even train, not even her regular training burned it off. Oh uh, no, nah, you gotta you gotta look at it though. The reason she says the reason that she even smoked was because her mother just passed away nigga, three days prior to the I'm not buying that I'm sorry I'm not buying you're that you're not buying her mother being deceased no I'm not wrong? buying I'm not, I'm, no I'm buying her mother being deceased I'm not buying yeah, she yeah, just yeah, started yeah. smoking because uh, <laughs> you're wrong yeah, she didn't bring it up but what about you are, you, are, you, are, yeah, you, are you buying hold on listen 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 she out training with her team and she get the news report like everybody else got the news report that her mother passed. She didn't even know. Nobody called her yet. She got it like a news report. Can you well, imagine? How how far away was the test from her, her finding out that her we mother don't know died? That. These are the details that should be coming out. This no, supposedly, like, you know, supposedly how, 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 how many days really... passed? I heard it was three days before the tr- the trials. It's, it's been a she, couple weeks. It, it's, been, it's been a it's, couple. I'm talking about for her. No, it was three days before the trials. Cause see, it almost seemed like she's just somebody who burned all the time. Right, and exactly. It just, yeah. And it was just in her system. That, that's all it was. I mean, rest in peace to her mother. But I mean, I'm sure she, she, you know, she, she smokes. <laughs> she's just a smoker. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, you were talking about somebody who just at one moment just got high as fuck. And who don't normally smoke like that often, and then three days later they had to they take their test. I don't know, and they're doing their training, drinking water. They probably got rid of that shit. Hold on, but didn't they say? No, I'm finna say something stupid. Never mind. Y'all go ahead. 
you know, but I mean, like, like, like I said, marijuana is not, I mean, like, even though it's getting legalized, it's still like on VADA, US, USADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. Like it's on a lot of banned prohibited substances. It's unfortunate, you know, so like, and, and like pretty much like, you know, I know you need to, if you need to burn, like you got to wait, wait until the Olympics is over and then you pass your, your final drug test before you burn. Like you have so much on the line, you shouldn't really be smoking marijuana so close to the Olympics. Like, I mean, especially in an Olympic year, like personally, I think that's just poor timing and someone in our inner circle failed at that. Like someone I mean, should have said like, look, you can't be I smoking. I mean, the biggest year. crime is like, why should this shit still be on the list? But even after that, you gotta make up your own, just, you gotta make your own decisions. And it's like, she failed herself and somebody well, on the team kind of failed her. Well, if there's one thing I can say, and I'm sure a certain somebody has probably been saying this, but as they always say, like the great Stephen A. Smith says, Stay off the weed! <laughs> <laughs> you took my line, I was gonna say that. You said that. You said I mean, <laughs> I mean, part of me like wants to like, yeah, I, I think marijuana should be, um, you know, I, I don't think it should be like a big thing anymore. It should be legalized and it, it is legalized everywhere and it shouldn't be looked at against for this shit. But I like, part of me like part of me also thinks like, don't you know this? Like that's why, like, 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 like when 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 football players get tested for this shit and they were getting fucking you know suspended and shit for this, like Ricky Williams, like, yes, uh, Josh Gordon, yes. like it's just like yes, it's not a big deal. Yes, it's the rules should be changed. And for football, they were changed. It's not bad anymore if you get caught. But it's just like if you know the what the rules are, regardless of how bad you think they are, why would you even? Bother, like if you're, if you're, if you're my, in a privileged uh, position anyway. Yeah, my job, my job, allowed, my job. I'm not allowed to smoke weed, and they even sent us a notice that even though weed is illegal, the company still does not allow us to smoke. So, regardless of how I feel, I just don't smoke because it's not worth dealing with the bullshit. It's not worth losing money over. It's not worth like, like all these. They random, they random testy niggas, ain't they? Uh, no, for me, they only te- they, in, in my in my department they only test us if we get hurt. But that's the thing. I never. I, I'm, it's not something you plan on. Do- oh, I, I, I'm not gonna. Oh, I plan on getting hurt. It just it could just happen. <laughs> then, they need somebody to blame and like so that. Oh, well, you were you were high regardless of how long it was in my system. Oh, you were you were high, so you're not you can't you know go for payment for anything like that. Like no work yeah. was caught, no nothing. So. You know, it's just if you know that, why would you even bother? But yeah, why would why risk it? Yeah, I mean, she had Nike bag and everything, so it's just it's a, it's a shame, you know. Yeah, like and and us because because I'm pretty sure the powers to be or sponsors were ready to make her a star if she, as soon as she got her first gold medal and she'd be on the Weedy box and everything, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. You know, but now I mean, I think I guess the punishment is she can't do the hundred meters, but she can run in the relays. And but really, like I mean, that's not really yeah. It's hundred meters. It's the you know the relays are bullshit yeah. anyway. But, yeah. but you know, it's it, it's sad because I mean, she had the you know the Nike bag, and you know, I hate to say it, but a lot of young black girls were looking up to her. Yeah, and, and that's the thing too. Like people were, like before that, people were criticizing her because people were judging her off how she looked. Exactly. And that was, yeah. and, and that was some bullshit. But now you just she gave them ammo. Because yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. now it's like she looked, she acted like how she looked. Type yeah, shit. Uh, basically yeah, a bird. It, it justified, it justified all the fucking covert racist shit people were saying. In, yeah. in a sense. And that's fu- and, and that and that's the fucked up part. That's 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 the most important. I mean, thing. she still got Nike endorsing her and everything, but it's like, what can you do? Like, what else extra shit going on? Yeah, like, you yeah. can't. You're gonna miss the biggest worldwide sport event for the year. Yeah, four years from now. Yeah, four years from now, there's gonna be some fast ass bitches that's gonna take your spot, probably. So. Yeah, (laughs) fast ass bitches. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, pretty pretty much. I mean, that's why it's still looked at as like a. Even if she would have lost in the Olympics, you don't even know that. Right. It's one of those epic type of missteps, like. Yeah, you know, like, I, I mean, I, like I said, I think she was burning all along. Yeah, no, she, this ain't this ain't no one time deal. Like you don't get caught with marijuana just one time. 
before the Olympics. Like she knew, she, she said, she even said she, she took, that's one thing I did like, she took accountability. She said she knew what she did. Like, she was like, I am human. That was, that was her, that was her cryptic ass tweet that she put out on that. Yeah, but see, she was just left for that dad, but then she kept doing more tweets and that was like, oh, you yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah, she was like, You know you fucked up now. Like, yeah, you realizing yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's passive aggressive tweets that like she's been putting out there. Yeah, like, see, I, the I am human, Somebody should have just took her phone after that. Like, your mom, like, yeah. that's it. Like, go out with the drop of the mic. Like, that's perfect way to go out. Right. I am like, human. Like, yeah, hashtag like, Will Smith or some shit. Uh, die robot or some shit. Like, exactly. But, but nah, you had to just come back out. Y'all can't leave these fucking phones alone. You had to come back out and just, well, um, 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 y'all hating, um, um, this, that, um, yeah, yeah, I, I have them operate. All these perfect people that know how to live life. I'm glad I'm not one of them. Like, no. And then I'm sorry I can't be y'all Olympic champ this year, but I promise I'll be your world champ next year. Like, no. Like, next year. Fucking okay, anything can happen by next year. Yeah, and then and the last one, the support. You know, my community. I thank y'all. The negative, forget y'all. Enjoy it again. Because we all know it won't be the same. Like, you don't know all. Like, she she's wild. You don't know all this. Like, you don't know how much. It's it's gotta be perfect people not to fucking burn something. Like, come on. Yeah, like we. I mean, wheat is not worth it. Like, like in like, and it's not like and people most people are like, oh, this should, should run anyway. Like, you don't know how strict some of this shit is. Like, Usain Bolt for so the last Olympics had a toothache, and he couldn't even take a painkiller for that shit because it's banned. Like, you know, do had do had like suffer, and you know, and, and that, that's why he's probably running so goddamn fast. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> I get that shit over with. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like you can't be afraid to sacrifice. Right. Like, right. You, you can't afraid to like. You have to just like. Even asthmatics, like I'm an asthmatic, and I know for sure. Like asthmatics, can, there are certain inhalers they can't even take because that shit is banned. Because I mean, because some inhalers will can actually give you can't enhance your performance uh, depth for sure and burn some fat if you're not you know if you if you're into that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like you, you, basically she just had to play it smart, and she failed on that. Like she took accountability, but someone in her inner circle should have told her, it's "Like, look, shorty, that ain't the way to do this." Like, you know, you, you should have told her as a long time ago. Then, okay. yeah, it's like, yo, this weed, this weed ain't yeah. worth it. You know, saying soon as like, she started buzzing, she should have stopped. Then, really, yeah. If, if it was her circle, but she fucked. She was basically Della Hoy in the twelfth round against Tito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, yeah. from from the tenth round. <laughs> you know, but yeah, it, it, it's really a shame too, because I mean, I was looking forward to her racing, you know, in there, and you know, relays this, yeah, like I said, you know, she she may win a gold in that, or she may not, but like, I, I, for to her, I don't think she realizes the possible impact, because like I said, I mean, there there there, there have been some one hit wonder track athletes, you know, and. And they they don't repeat their Olympic performances. She's young, but who's to say that how she is at twenty or twenty one, she's gonna be the same at twenty four, twenty five, or whatever. But the next yeah, there's a big difference between twenty four, twenty five, and twenty one. Yeah, exactly. So it's like yeah. I mean, I, 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 don't think she, I don't think she really. Yeah, certain sports you peak differently. Like right. you might be a little heavier in twenty five than twenty one. Like right. For sure, it's not like boxing where you need you know grown man strength or grown woman strength. You know this is running. You want to you know I think you would look at it as the, the youngest, the or the youngest, the leanest, the best. Like but, right, yeah, and especially yeah, track track takes a toll on your body, especially runners. So it's not like yeah. you're saying, like I mean, all it, all it takes is really like one bad leg injury, and you 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 may not even run the same again. And personally, I don't think she's thinking that far ahead. I, mean, I think she's just think she's she's in she's in the now right now. She's just in the moment with things that are going on because she's still going to the Olympics. You know, she's still she's gonna be she's gonna be in the relays, but that's really about it. You know, but you know, it, it's just it's, it's just it's just it's really. Yeah, but that's like going that's like your pay per view starting. You're gonna be the main event A side, but you do some stupid shit during the week, and now you're like the opening bout B side. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still go into the card, but yeah, you know. Yeah, and then you got the jobber, the the jobber uh, role. <laughs> you know, but for like, but for, but for what for the woke Twitter out there, that's just you know, that's you know, that's actually saying like, oh, this is systemic racism. 
uh, critical race theory, whatever you want to call it. It's not any of that. It's really not <laughs> yeah, any of that does. bullshit. It's really not. Like, I mean, uh, and like I said, it's not any, it's not racism. She literally broke an Olympic rule that other people have gotten ba- punished for. White, black, Asian, Hispanic. It doesn't matter. It's like, and that's the thing. It's like, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess people are just, you know, most people are like, you know, because she's, you know, people have been talking about how she looks or whatever, which is also fucked up. But the punishment is not based on any racism. Because if, if it was, she should, she wouldn't even be running. Like, and it's like, she would be out of the limits completely. Like, if, 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 if they were, if they were, if they're going to be on that shit. So it's like, it's not any of that shit. Like, yeah, I mean, sure, you can run on weed. I mean, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, if it's in the rules, it's in the rules. You can't run on weed. You can't take, you can't just, you can't take banned substances. You get to watch what you take. That's why they have drug tests. Because it should, you know, and she got, and she fell for the most, for something basic. It's not even some, some wild steroid that you can only find in Russia. That's the thing with like that. Warmer, you gotta look at the rejuvenate process. That's why it's really bad. Yeah. It's not gonna help you during the damn running. It might yeah. help you focus during a fight, but if you're somebody who gets over anxious or you're always nervous, and you don't have no way to combat that, but someone says, all right, yo, smoke this, and then you calm. Now you got James Tony calmness in, in your fucking title fight or, or during your running match. <laughs> you know, that's an advantage. It is. Exactly. I mean, to, in Tokyo... You look at it like that. Yeah, I think in Tokyo, weed's like... I mean, not even, you know... I think Tokyo, you can still go to prison for weed, but I'm just saying the Olympics in general are always has been very strict. You know, there's always corruption behind the scenes, but... They're very strict about their fucking drug test, so I don't know if people are, are honestly acting shocked by by this. Yeah, but like you know. You know. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you're acting shocked by this, like you you know, you know thinking like oh you know this is being racism, like no nah, that's 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 not it. Like it's not. She broke a rule. It's good to support her or whatever, but she broke a rule that she shouldn't have broke. Like it. it, it, yeah, it I, I feel you, nigga. I feel you. She broke a rule. Rules are yeah. rules. But at the end of the day, you can't tell. Me. At the end of the day, you can't tell a nigga how to agree. At the end of the day, her mama mean more to her than the Olympics, nigga. At the end of the day, so everybody is human. She's right, niggas is human. She smoked because of whatever reason. But yeah. whatever reason, she, she felt like she needed to do it. She been training her whole life, nigga. It's not like she can. She has to smoke. She knows she can't smoke. She knows she something can. makes her smoke. You know what I'm saying? She, it's not like oh, I didn't know. She knew she been training for this her whole life. Yeah. Then why should we? If she knows, then why should I feel bad? Like, why should I feel bad if knowing that you did some fucked up shit that if you got caught that you there would be consequences? No, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not about feeling bad. It's not about feeling bad. It's about just all right. I understand. I get it. Like, yeah, you fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I understand. She fucked you up. Know, yeah. You can't really get mad at the at the organization. Like, oh, the Olympics is on support shit because they got rules in place. You break them, it's whatever. But. Yeah. People bashing her saying, Damn, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stephen A, stay away from the weed, all that shit. Can't be, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like she's like, Oh, fuck it. I'm the top, I'm the fastest bitch in the league. I'm finna fucking start smoking. I'm gonna do whatever I want. It wasn't like that. I don't think it's like that. No, it, it, it wasn't like that, but it's just, like I said, you know, if, if you just admit your, you know, you say you fucked up, I'm human. She gave an interview, she fucked up. But it's just like the extra shit, like you know, someone yeah, someone needs to tell Shorty put like the oh, phone put down, put the phone down. Like you said, what you had to say, you're human. You did your interview. And now we're seeing the real emotions behind it now, right? You know, and that's like, like, like you, you went into the booth and you did your sixteens. <laughs> yeah, we was gonna let you talk shit on the outro, but you ended the sixteen so powerful. We were just like, all right, you do the average and you good. But instead, it's like you start talking extra shit on the outro. Then you start cursing niggas out. Joe Buddy and style. Like, the song now, like chill, chill. Like you don't need to do all the extra shit. The verse yeah. is good enough. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just like you know, and that's and then hopefully, like I said, she gets it together. Hopefully, she gets like you know, a publicist. Like she, like people, her, her brain trust gets like a team around her. You know, to kind of, I'm not saying so hold on, you're gonna pay somebody just to tell you to get off the phone. 
Hire me then, shit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the fuck off the phone, nigga. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, I mean, I mean we all we all know that the people that people that that people that get paid to be babysitters, quote unquote, for people who don't know how to control themselves. Like, I mean, it, I mean it's out there. It's a it's a market. <laughs> People that keep you on the straight and narrow, so you don't be fucking up when you know when, when there's a lot of money on. Oh yeah, yeah, the handlers. The handlers, yeah. <laughs> Somebody need to make a movie about that shit. Like, shit, like, that would be like two dudes who's like handlers and somebody who's like a constant fuck up. Yeah, there's there's there's, there's plenty of real life stories, and especially in the sports world, that you can draw from for that. <laughs> yeah, like that should be like whoever y'all play, that should be classy. Absolutely, but that was like, this, it's like cool. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, just to wrap it up, like I said, I mean, it's a shame though. But I mean, we're, I mean, I'm still gonna watch the Olympics regardless though, because the Olympics, the Olympics, I never watched it off one person. And I never will, you know. But it's just like you just hate to see like someone who's who you know for the most part you know was like a role model, like Pilot said, you know, someone was a role model, especially for young girls out there, you know, just to, you know for her to do her thing. Just now, you now have her name kind of. You know her, her value of her name kind of decreased a little bit. You know her stature. Kind yeah, of I mean, hey, you live and you learn. It's whatever, man. Right. Real niggas tuning in to see volleyball, let me. So, <laughs> but that, 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 that's facts, though. That, that that's also facts too. You know, uh, yeah, run running is cool, but you know it's whatever. But that and to see what the what the what the U.S. Olympics boxing team is gonna, actually going to do, and you know, in the Olympics, you know. Yeah, you know, are we gonna get a gold or am I gonna go on a rant on like how how poor the amateur system is? That type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> gonna get a platinum plaque or are we gonna get aluminum? Well, yeah. <laughs> We're so gonna get double copper, son. <laughs> aluminum, copper, some metals that we don't we we don't even really know, but it's clearly not gold or silver or bronze. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I think we could uh, wrap up the show for today. Yeah, they're gonna go wood. <laughs> go wood. <laughs> That's. God, I don't... Oh man. So, uh, Rome, your final thoughts, bro? Final thoughts. Like this weekend's all right. Kind of trash, man. Fight, <laughs> um, <laughs> fight last weekend. I mean, fights yesterday. I'm talking about weekend. I don't think we normally pod on Monday. My fuck. <laughs> uh, but fights yesterday, very good fights. Like, very good fights. I, li- I like the action. It was a good car yesterday. I wish it had a third fight besides the replay, but, you know, can't get, can't win them all, nigga. Right. And, um, Shikari, shout out you. You know, I'll be burning with you, shit. <laughs> 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 And that's it. Rome top five on the way. This this month, nigga. Date drop it soon. This month, we got it. It's yes. coming. Top five. Mm-hmm. On my- that's what it is, yo. Top five, yo. Yeah, I can't, 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 definitely can't wait to hear that, man. That's what. Finals it is. out now. Streaming everywhere. Finals. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, LB, man. Your final thoughts. Oh uh, man. Um. Hopefully, the Golden Boy card is good. Um. Looking forward to that on a Friday. Um, and y'all just uh, keep uh, checking in the in game radio, follow the Twitter, the IG. The Twitter just put up a new uh, that Chris Colbert artwork, you know, the last fight, the one before last night. You know, follow me, uh, Shuttleworth, Soul Wars, Twitter, Instagram, put up artwork. First one I did in a minute since the, I think the Broner fight. Where? But yeah, you know. Y'all probably looking like, damn, let's just keep posting a rapping and, 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 and training shit. Hold on, like, is he even drawing anymore? Like, yeah, nigga, I draw. Hell yeah. And then to give y'all that, you know. I'm looking like one of these rap niggas on the gloves now. <laughs> but actually with skills. Facts. I, I, I got a 6 four heavyweight that, that want that YouTube money, so y'all holla at me. That's what it is. But, um... I did it now, man. Peace out, everybody in the uh, Anchor, Podomatic, Spotify, everybody who fucking listen to us, YouTube. Shout out to the rest of the squad, Prolific, uh, Clan Arky, RTD, PJ Fight Arky Yes, sir. That's what it is, man. AOP, final thoughts? 
Uh, good week, good good card. You know what I'm saying? Good card. The boy Colbert showed out. You know, happy for him. Let's 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 hope he you know continues in the future. He looks good. You know what I'm saying? He could he could be a real future star. You know, with the right handling, with the right promotion, and hopefully this whole bullshit, just this wilder shit, goes away like it did with Charlo. Because we we the, <laughs> I guess Charlo should then send him a thank you note for fucking get, getting everybody off of his back, right? <laughs> so send Colbert a thank you. Um, Has it ever been a touchy subject of boxing and Wilder? I mean, it, it, well, what? not since well, not not since the Floyd and Manny debates. Like my goodness, like you, what you say, I couldn't hear Wilder. you. Like, bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is what it is. But no, I didn't even hear what 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 um what LB asked. No, I said, has there ever been a touchier subject than Wilder, like in the sport of boxing? Like, I swear, like if you even sneeze and you sound like Wilder, like people are like dissing you and shit. Like, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Spence Crawford debates are pretty touchy, so <laughs> that they, they rival, right? They rival. At, at least it's two people, though. Like Wilder is like just one person, and it's like, yeah, like you criticize you can't you under his name. Like that shit is like you bring about like ancient ghost warriors or some shit. Like, yeah, and, and it's, yeah, it's, it's really ridiculous. Like, like the Mummy Three. <laughs> Like no, the way, the way, the way, like the way, the way people defend Wilder is like, damn, is this like you think he's like Muhammad? He's like next door to Muhammad Ali or something like that. And Mike Tyson rolling to one. Like, nah, bro. Like, be, you know, be easy on that. Like, yo, every fight gets criticized. Like, I mean, Floyd, I mean, Floyd, the Floyd made the base a whole bunch of that. But it just seems like, yeah, but it's with two people. Like I said, it's two people: like Spence Crawford, Floyd, Manny. Why does he have to be associated with anybody? Well, except, except he's frequently associated with Anthony Joshua, who he has not faced. And, you know, and, but it, it just seems like, yeah, Wilder, you see, same thing about Wilder, it's like, oh, no, no, you're, you're getting canceled. Like, you're, you're, you're this, you're a coon, you're all types of stuff. Like, it, it's the weirdest dynamic, man. It's, it, it, it's really weird. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Uh, hoping next week's card is good. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hopefully we don't get the. Hopefully the main event isn't too brutal. Isn't too brutal in either way because it could be brutal in more than one way. But you know, right. we'll, see. we'll see. Brutal upset, brutal fight, brutal eyesore, brutality, knockout. Like yeah, Man, it could go more than one way. So make it stop. Man, that's the pinnacle <laughs> of boxing, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. But other than that, I hope everybody's you know. Enjoying their holiday, you know, be safe. Don't get into too much fuckery. Don't drink and drive. Stay stay off the wheel. Stay off the wheel if you're going to be drinking. So, <laughs> you know, other than that, Ring Gang Radio all day. You know where to find us at YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, ringgangradio.com. And I'm out. Yes, sir. Ayo hey, Pilot, your final thoughts? Yeah, you know it is ringing radio to this day, like yes, Wilder sir. would say. Um, yes, sir. But you know, <laughs> um, every, pretty much what everybody else said. Summer of boxing, beautiful thing. NBA as well. On the side note, finals yes, coming sir. up. Yes, sir. Suns, Suns and six probably. But anyways, ringing radio yes. on every social media platform, and that's what it is. Shout out to Shikari. Hopefully, uh, things work out in her favor, and you know the bag doesn't get totally lost. Absolutely, and I don't have I don't have anything really else to add on other than like this is the second straight holiday that rain is like kind of fucked up all types of places. Memorial Day rained out, Fourth of July weekend rained out. So I should be at a, I should be at a barbecue right now, but you know it got canceled because of this. Hopefully tomorrow I can actually go to it, you know, and they you know and the weather is just cooperating, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, you know, yeah, like say, Ring Gang is the squad, man. Ring Gang is the future. We got all types of shit for y'all. You know, watch out for my next Forgotten Phase article. It's nearly done, you know, and then obviously, you know, episode three is coming and everything like that. Rome, you know, Rome's album is coming out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some heat on that. And of course, you know, Pilot and P and Rome, you know, if I hit y'all with some basketball talk too as well for the, you know, for the upcoming finals. You know, that's so, like I say, you know, ring it. We always got something, you know, we always got something, you know, we working on or whatever. 
So yeah, definitely you know hit up on hit us up on everything on Anchor, Podomatic, Google, Apple Podcasts, everything, man. We're on everything, especially on YouTube, man. You know, and you know, and we do this shit for y'all. And you know, if you feel if you feel if you feel generous to go hit our, you know, to hit our, you know, to donate a little something, the links on our YouTube and on our website as well. So yeah, you can you subscribe and then tell your friends to subscribe that we can all be friends. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, so for myself, Pat Scorpio, the East Coast representer, you know, for LB Show with the God the Go artist, for King P Bodega P, for Conscious Pilot, and for Rome, aka Chicago Where This has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, it shit's real, we talk up about it. So until next time, peace. Mm-hmm.